I thought I'd never write a sequel and I actually tried to write a sequel to um, Watermelon uh, a couple of books ago and it was an absolute disaster. Like I, I couldn't do it. Um, so this is the first sequel that I've actually managed to write. I'm Marion Keyes and I'm here to talk to you about Again Rachel which will be published on the 17th of February in 2022, that's next year. I have a, a young friend, she was a big fan of Rachel's Holiday and I was afraid that she would kind of go, oh Jesus Christ no, do whatever you do, don't! And she said she got shivers, like the hairs on the back of her neck lifted and I thought okay. I mean of all the books I thought I would write a sequel to, Rachel's Holiday would have been the last one because it seemed to matter so much to people. You can't just pick up at the happy ending. You know, there has to be pain, there has to be disappointment, there has to be reversals. I love that word, reversals and setbacks. And the last thing I wanted was reversals and setbacks for Rachel. But a reversal and setback came to me, probably because enough time has passed as well. I mean, she's a different person now than she was when I first wrote about her. I mean, she's a very ordinary young woman, apart from the fact that she's an addict. But she's not young anymore. But you see, I forget that I'm not young. I think the fact that she kind of got over herself in Rachel's Holiday is something that a lot of people could identify with. And then there were just other things that I think people identified with that she lived mostly on crunchy nut cornflakes and her theory was that any food eaten standing up has no calories. I think Rachel had had and has so many faults and still manages to kind of be okay. You know when Rachel's holiday first came out um, it got almost no review coverage. The one that stands out for me is a two-liner or two, two-worder. Um, forgettable froth you know, which is inaccurate, uh, apart from anything else. And I mean, that was kind of the, 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 the climate of the time that like anything, anything pink or, or anything that women were reading was automatically denigrated. Things that like cishet men love are treated as hard news, you know? Like, do you remember that business where five football teams were going to be in a super league or something like that. Like, for the love of God, I mean, that was front page, broadsheet stuff for like a week, you know? And it's like, all due respect, and I, you know, I have no problem with football, but it is just 22 lads on a, on a field running around after a ball, you know? And like, that is no more worthy or less worthy than lipstick. You know, like lipstick makes me wildly happy. I could talk for an hour and a half, like I could do a monologue on it, I could do a TED talk on it. And the best way to absolutely destroy a person's confidence and to keep them from asking for what they deserve is to tell them that the things they like are ridiculous. You know, it's far more subtle than saying you're ridiculous, but saying, honestly, what kind of a half which are you? Mascara, I'm gonna talk about mascara. You know, it makes you feel crappy. And so books for women, you know, that are sort of obviously marketed for women, kind of treat it as kind of like an embarrassing aberration. It's like, oh, guilt, you know, guilty pleasure, please don't start me. Having sex with a sheep, that's a guilty pleasure. I mean, you really should feel guilty about that, no matter how much pleasure it brings you. But you know, like reading books that are sweet and funny and uplifting and have a happy ending, no need to feel guilty. The patriarchy hasn't changed much in 25 years. The only thing that has changed really is that women are a lot more vocal than they used to be, which is great. I'm so, so delighted with that. But what I want to write about, like I want to write about women. I want to write about contemporary women. I want to write about contemporary women in the world we live in right now. That's never changed. Again, Rachel is published on the 17th of February, 2022. And I am so excited um, about you reading it. Um, I'm really dying to know what you think. And uh, I really, really do hope you enjoy it. And thank you very much for watching.